Hey guys, welcome back to Phil Place TCG. Today I'm going to make a pretty quick video just going over what I believe we will be seeing in the next upcoming meta, the 2.5 meta, if you will. Uh, basically, we all know ner red got nerfed, uh, green's coming back into the fold, and yeah, that means we're gonna see a lot more diversity in the format. Sure, it's probably gonna be a lot of green, but I think it's not gonna be as crazy as it used to be. Now, before we get into the video, typical YouTube stuff. If you wanna hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, if you like Dragon Ball Super Fusion World content, Dragon Ball Masters content, One Piece content, you are in the right place. We are on our way to 2000 subs and I would very much appreciate any and all support, especially if you like the content, you know? It's the best way to show support is just li uh, liking the video and subscribing. But anyway, uh, we're gonna skip past the uh, the YouTube stuff here. Sorry, my bad. I'm still it's so early here that I'm recording this. But basically, the meta I want to I think will be essentially another triangle meta. We have green coming back into the fold. Will be uh, will be a huge change for the meta because we've basically not really been seeing a lot of green. There have been some really good green decks like Androids and Cell doing pretty well in the format, but not getting into the top eight. So green's coming back, which means blue is going to need to build our decks differently because we've been, as a blue player myself, we've been primarily building our decks to play against red, but now that red's off at its own, you know, doing its own thing, blue now has to tweak our builds to play the long game better, not necessarily play the quick game to mid game. Yellow is going to have some amazing uh, time here because yellow actually, I think, does a really good job into green. It had a, it had gotten a lot of really good support cards to work uh, into the green matchup. So I think overall, yellow is going to be in a very, very good spot, which, you know, brings us to where we are at now. The new triangle meta. Green goes well into blue. Blue goes well into yellow. And yellow goes well into green. At least, I think that's the easy breakdown. Now, of course, that's not a guarantee. Just because you're a yellow player doesn't mean you're always going to beat blue, just like blue isn't always going to beat yellow. It is going to depend on the player and the proper builds. But I think for the next format, this is what we are going to be looking at specifically. And of course, red is still around. I don't want people getting the idea that red is not around. It is. And what I think red is going to have to do is going to be going back to a more mid-range aggro deck because it's not going to be able to basically explode with power like Topku could. There are still going to be really, really good red decks like Beerus, like U7 Goku, and hell, even starter Goku is, you know, has its, uh, has its supporters and devote followers because like red is still good. All red lost was its turn one play and it's mid game. And that's really it. Topku is, yes, by far the most affected leader in this aspect because now he's basically left with playing a bunch of three cost cards that don't really, you know, do as well without being free played like they could with Kefla. So. Red decks are now going, other red decks are going to have a much better time to shine. Like I said, you have Beerus being a more control uh, board clearing deck. You have U7, which is more what I believe is true aggro. It's not unfair. You're playing cards for energy, which is what you should. Any deck that can free play something for very little energy, like you play a card, which then free play something else, always leads to trouble, in my opinion. That's why they took it out of the Masters version of the card game a long time ago. So I think that U7 Goku does have that opportunity to be very, very good because you're playing cheap cards that get a 5k boost. Um, you have that one cost 20k Frieza that now is a 25k body. You have the three drop Gohan SR, which is now a 30k body, which swings in minusing 15 off of a body. There's a lot of really good U7 cards. That I think U7 Goku is going to be a pretty good deck in the format, but um, seeing how red goes into the matchups here, red into green is going to be a bit rough, but if green can stabilize their board, uh, 
basically being able to play their big bodies that KO bodies when swinging multiple times. I think green can still have a pretty decent edge into the red matchup. But like I said, it all comes down to the player. Same thing with yellow. Yellow is going to be tapping a lot of stuff down, KOing low cost cards in rest mode and being incredibly defensive. But a good aggro deck could go past that and get that win. Blue into red, I think for much the same, blue was running uh, Sickle, which was a very, very good card in the last format. But now that you may not see as much of red, most blue players may drop their uh, sickle count from four to three, possibly even from three to two. I was running three sickles in my trunks build and I want to keep three. But part of me is also like if I go into the green matchup, it's game over. Sickle is almost a useless card into the green matchup, but Sickle does have a good mat, a good uh, effect into yellow and red deck. So I still think it is good to keep Sickle around, especially for those matchups, because you know you can't think you're going to hit uh, a matchup against a green player every single battle, you know. So. I think that for the most part, we are just going to be dealing with these one, two, three, you know, triangle meta while the occasional red deck is coming in and you have to prepare for it. Uh, for blue decks, you're primarily going to be seeing Goku Black and Vegeta, I believe. There are going to be some players that play Trunks. I'm one of those players, but even I have to admit Goku Black is just the better deck in my opinion. Uh, it's just because it's a different type of blue deck and then I've been having so much fun playing this new build I will be posting it on the channel uh, might even bring a special guest to uh, hop on that video with me or two uh, but yeah Goku Black and Vegeta I think are going to be the primary decks you're going to see from blue right now yellow you're primarily going to be seeing uh, Frieza, Vegeta and Ginyu right now yellow is in a bit of a resurgence because there's a they're going to tr be trying to figure out what is the best yellow deck you have Ginyu for aggro you have Frieza for your board control and Vegeta for more defensive builds so they're going to be kind of figuring out what is the best deck uh, to go into this next meta but they have a lot of really cool options. Green, you're primarily going to be seeing Cell and Androids. Uh, Androids got an amazing boost. And a lot of tournaments that I've been seeing lately, like the results of, uh, a lot of players that have brought Androids to these tournaments that are running the new ban list are succeeding. Hell, Androids is... I've been seeing Androids win a lot of tournaments lately. So Androids might actually be the boogeyman of this next set. Cell, I think, is a very good slightly slower slightly different version of androids it's got amazing tools like cell game arena which allows it to uh, either draw one card or ramp a card per uh, per turn for free mind you you have the a drop cell which i guess can be run in androids and the cell juniors it's green is going to be very good now don't Take into account, because I didn't mention Broly or Gohan, that I don't think those decks are going to do well. In the right pilot's hands, those decks are going to be incredibly dangerous. But they've been around for long enough to know, like, for us players to know how to deal with them. And I think right now, Gohan and Broly are just the slower of the green decks. So primarily, that's why I do believe you're going to see mostly androids and Cell going forward. But... Hey, that's just my opinion. I am going to wrap this up, though, because like I said, I just want to talk a little bit about the upcoming format, or at least what I believe will be the upcoming format, what to expect and whatnot. But that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love to hear your opinions, and I'll try to get back to you uh, as quick as I can. And uh, yeah, make sure that like and subscribe button, typical YouTube stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.